Suppose you are making an IPL team. Okay? What do you require? Some batsmen, bowlers, wicket keepers. So what do you do? You make a team of wicket keepers and batsmen. So if you put it in sets, you can say set A of wicket keepers and set B of batsmen and you unite them both to get a team. That is A union B. You know we call this as union in sets. Now you were confused as you did not get bowlers. So you formed a new team which consisted of wicket keepers and a set of bowlers. So again what did you get? A that is set of wicket keepers and C that is the set of bowlers. We have taken the set of bowlers as set C. So you can say you got A union C, a team full of wicket keepers and bowlers. So now you are having two teams in front of you. Wicket keepers and batsmen that is A union B and wicket keepers and bowlers that is A union C. But now you are confused. What you actually wanted was a set of all rounders that means people who were batsmen and bowlers and set of wicket keepers. So if you put that in sets, what did you actually want? You wanted something like this. A set of all rounders that were batsmen and bowlers both. That means you can say you wanted this. What does this say? This means B intersection C. That means people or uh, players who are both batsmen and bowlers. So you wanted some all-rounders like this and, in, uh, uh, and with them you know, needed some wicket keepers as well. So what did you want? You wanted A union with B intersection C. Right? You wanted some players who were both batsmen and bowlers and some wicket keepers along with them. But now how will you get it? Well, in sets, we have a relation for three sets, A, B and C. Let's see what. For any three sets, A, B and C, there is a relation we have. A union, B intersection C, this is what we want, right? Set of wicket keepers, union with batsmen and bowlers, people who are both batsmen and bowlers. This is what we want. And what do we have right now? We have a team that consists of wicket keepers and batsmen and a team of wicket keepers and bowlers. So if we take out the intersection of these two, we will get what we want. Well, do you doubt this? This relationship holds true. We will see how. Look at the Venn diagram. You know that the set A in a Venn diagram can be represented by this. This is a set of wicket keepers. Right? And B intersection C can be represented by the intersection part of B and C. That means players who are both batsmen and bowlers. Right? And now what do we do? We unite them. So making these two together, what do we get? C. We get this plus this. That means this is what we want. Now let's see, can we derive this from what we have already? That is from the right hand side. Look, A union B can be represented in a Venn diagram like this. A together with B. That means a set of wicket keepers as well as a set of batsmen together. Now A union C can be represented as a set of wicket keepers along with a set of bowlers. And I told you that if you take out the intersection of this, you will get the same. Let's see what do we get. Look, what will be the intersection of these two? Intersection means common in both. You can see that this part is common in both. So we have drawn this part. What more is common? You can say that the set A itself is common in both. One more thing, this part. See, this is also drawn here. Can you see this and this is same? Right? So you can say that A union B intersection C will give you the same answer as A union B intersection with 
A union C. Look at it. Both of these are same. Now, you have seen this in the Venn diagram. Let us see whether we get this same in the sums as well. Here we have taken three sets, any three sets, say A, B and C, where A is 1, 2, 4, 6, B is 1, 3, 5 and C is 4, 5, 8. Now, can you help me finding this left hand side part? A union B intersection C. You very well know how to take out intersection between two sets and also union between two sets. Find this out and tell me what do you get? First, let us find out the bracket part and see what we get. So, B intersection C. Now, intersection means taking out the common elements present in both. So, B intersection C. Which elements do you see common in both? 1, no, 3, not present, 5. So, only 5 is present in both B and C. So, B intersection C is 5. What else we have to do? We have to unite this with set A. That means we will write all the elements present in this set as well as in set A together. So write that. So A union with B intersection C, will, we will get what? 1, 2, 4, 6 and write this as well, 5. So we got this. Now we will prove the right hand side part. And let's see, we get the same answer or not. According to the Venn diagram we did, we should get the same answer. So help me finding out this. First of all, what will we do? We will find out the brackets. So find out A union B and A union C. What will we get as A union B? Writing all the elements of A as well as B. But the elements should be distinct, not repeated. So 1, 1 is present both ways, so we will write only once. That is 1, 2, 4, 6, 1 is already present, so we will not write 1, 3 and 5. So this is what we get, A union B. Find out A union C like this. One, two, four, six. And look at the elements of set C. Four, we have already written four years, so we will not repeat it. Five, we have not written, so write it. And eight. Now here we've got A union B and A union C. Now what do we have to do? We have to find out their intersection. Right? Find out their intersection. Intersection means finding out which elements are present in both. So you can see 1 is present in both. 2, 4, 6 and 5. 3 and 8 are not present in both. So let us write the answer. 1, 2, 4, 6, 5. This is what we get from the right hand side. Remember what did we get on the left hand side part? C. We got A union B intersection C as 1, 2, 4, 6 and 5. Similarly, we got A union B intersection with A union C as 1, 2, 4, 6 and 5. So we saw that even from the Venn diagram and also from the sum that this relationship holds true. A union B intersection C is equal to A union B intersection with A union C. Now I will tell you a very interesting fact. Look at this. This is the relationship just now which we have proved. Now what if I reverse the signs? I have reversed this union with intersection, intersection with union in all the places here along the whole equation. See, union becomes intersection Intersection becomes union, again union becomes intersection, intersection becomes union and union becomes intersection. 
even if after reversing all these signs we get a new relationship which again holds true do you believe it well i'll show you with the venn diagram again look at it a intersection with b union c you can see that a represents this in the venn diagram and b union c means b set b and set c written together so b and c you can see we have highlighted this with a new color right now we have to intersect both of them so what will be the intersection can you tell me which parts are common in both look we can see that in both these parts this part is common and this part is also common so that means intersection between these two venn diagrams is this now let's see what do we get in the venn diagrams of this side look a intersection b represented by a intersection with b the common part and a intersection c represented by the common parts of a and c this one now what do we have to do we have to unite them let's see what we get this as union as look this and this together can you tell me this is equal or not right so you can see that a intersection b union c is equal to a intersection b union with a intersection c both are equal with the venn diagram you can see that again let's do a sum and find out the answer whether we get the same or not so here i have given you set a set b and set c so first find out the left hand side part that is a intersection b union c and tell me the answer first let's find out the bracket so b union c what will you get b union c 1 3 5 4 and 8 no same elements so we can write all the elements in b union c now what do we have to do we have to intersect this whole set with set a so tell me the answer again intersecting this set with set a what elements do i see common 1 3 5 4 right so let me write this well if you want you can arrange this in any order here we get 1 3 4 and 5 you can write it like that now a intersection b union with a intersection c this part find out the answer and tell me first let's find the brackets a intersection b and a intersection c what will be a intersection b 1 3 and 5 so can you tell me one thing here if all the elements of b are present in set a what is the special name given to set b do you remember it is called a subset so if all the elements of any set are present in the other set then this set will be known as the subset of this set so here b is a subset of a then what will a be a called a will be called the superset of set b right now we come back to a intersection b and a intersection c now a intersection c 4 is the only element that is common in both so we write 4 now find out the union of these two sets 1 3 4 5 
see. I can see that this side gives us 1, 3, 4, and 5, and this side also gives us 1, 3, 4, and 5. So again, this relationship holds true. So what did you learn? You learned that for any three sets, A, B, and C, A union with B intersection C gives you the same answer as A union B intersection with A union C. And A intersection with B union C gives you the same answer as A intersection B union with A intersection C. So whenever, if you are given the information of this part, you can easily find out that this part is equal to this. Or vice versa also you can do.